What's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. And as y'all can see, it's uh, it's dark out. But uh, I just want to come on and keep giving y'all a little content. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't got a whole lot going on. Just want to kind of keep y'all updated and keep y'all informed on what we be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, basic kennel cleaning time. Oh, I'm about to get ready to head into the kennel. My son and I already in there. Hold on one second, y'all. Y'all can see y'all. Uh, we're inside the kennel. Like I said, not a whole lot to change, not much going on. It was just the last cleaning, making sure everything is good for the night. Uh, check and verify, making sure everybody got plenty of water still in their feet. Uh, you know what the tempo is like? Mm -hmm. uh, I think 40 to 30. About 30? Yeah. Okay. So we just do like that last chip. Then I'm going to tell you too, like being inside the chimney. The reason I'm going to tell you I really like this is because this house actually gets really cold for me to actually turn the heater on. The two heaters I have on inside the chunk. Uh, you finished? Yes. Okay, you know. You know. You said to go in? Yes. Okay. I clicked the lights on. You, you turn the water on. Yeah, I'm turning it Okay. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know, like, <clears throat> for being inside this chunk, it, once it get really cold outside, basically the only time I can normally have to turn the heat on if it's kind of like getting down into the freezing. I have to be really cold. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. The weather kind of got me. Like, no, ma'am. My mouth will start cutting up. But tell you the thing we do be having like, for being inside the kiln is I don't know if it's talking about accumulated more bodies in here. It don't seem to get as cold <clears throat> inside the kiln. <clears throat> inside the kiln, like it. You know, I guess it kind of used to or something, but I have noticed the more bodies in here, I guess it put out more heat. But actually, let me see, the heater has actually been on, what, maybe twice. And then once I realized that it really didn't have to be on because of the fact that I guess I was thinking about my own self, and you know, dogs, these dogs, they can actually withstand way more weather on the cold side than we can. So, actually, and you know how I determine a lot of them, you know, that your dogs, anytime I come into the kiln, if I kind of ease in on them, try to ease in, open the door real, real slow, and I come in, and I try to check on them, can't never catch them. But what I do is I pop the cameras on, I look on the camera. Anytime I see that the weather has dropped down in the 30s and my dogs are laying on their back with their feet in there and stuff, that's when you know they are comfortable being inside of here. If not, they'll be balled up and they'll be shaking. And with it being down in the, in the uh, lower 30s or whatever, my dogs will still be in here, they'll still be comfortable and relaxed. I mean, you have some that do curl up because they're just how they sleep. But some of them are like crying, you know, they, they tend to just like be laid on, like up against the cage, they'll be sideways, laid up against the cage. And if I know their feet up on the side of the cage, on their back, head in there, and you'll, you'll look on the camera, I may see like three or four of them doing the exact same thing. So that's why I understand that they can, under, can bear away more than we can. And being inside the kiln, another uh, tip today is the reason I don't have to turn the heat on as much as I thought I did when I was at first is because of the fact that you think about it, when these dogs inside the building, the building's got insulation, it's got insulation around it. So there's no wind coming in the kiln at all. So they're not, you know, like in the dog houses or outside. You got wind coming in from all different angles. But then inside the kiln, you're blocking all the wind from coming in. Okay, 
Now we turn and you open the door and leave the door open for a while, yeah, it'll start getting cold in here. Now it's about 10, I just uh, turn the heat on, I bump and leave it on for maybe about an hour or so. Get a knock that little cool out. And as long as you're keeping the door closed, it kind of keeps the heat trapped inside the building. So that's another thing I want to just tell y'all. But like I say, Jordan already come in here, really wasn't much to do. Uh, there was a little bit of a couple of spots he had to clean. He always was able to pull the pressure wash out and use them. But everybody, like I say, everybody in here cozy for the night. I, I had to check the temp. He said about 30 something. 20 something, something like that, but like I said, that should feel good in your don't blow on, you're not blowing any uh, cold air or anything like that, and everybody just sitting here just, just chilling out. But I just brought y'all inside the kiln, plus I didn't want to be standing out there <laughs> trying to make a video. It had got laid on, it got dark on. Being honest with y'all, I had a lot of ripping and running I did today, got a little tired, so kind of took me a nap, and I woke up and I said, man, it's dark outside. Let me go ahead and just make a little video, shoot a little content. Uh, and like I say, the ones that have been rocking with me, y'all just bear with me. I had a whole lot of things planned to bring out, to be showing, but it didn't go as planned. And all the ones out there know I'm being a dog breeder. This is the type of stuff that you will run into. Things don't go as planned. But don't worry about it. Don't be sobbing. Keep your head, hold your head up. Keep on pushing, keep moving. You know, keep you know, keep going through it. You're amazing. Uh, but this that's all I have for y'all. From EAR Bullets, Accelerated Bullets on the Instagram. Thanks for watching. It was just something short I had for y'all. I just wanted to come on. Look at her. Look, that door stayed open on this video right here. So that's why I uh, actually uh, turned the heater on. Y'all can see. You got the heater on right there. Knock a little bit of this uh, cold out. You know what I'm saying? But you know something though? Even though if it's cold in here, to me, to them, they still not cold. But just for me to make me feel better, I'm doing this just so I can knock this chill out. And from there, I bump that heater down a little bit more and just leave it on like this so it'll have to get pretty much down a little bit colder for that heater to just kind of kick on. But, hey, we toasted. We chilling over here. That's all I really got. Uh, I know we got a lot of new people that will be coming through, passing through, checking out the video. And if y'all would and y'all knew, drop down them comments. Let me know where you're from if you watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Let me know where you're from if you're new, if you're new to the channel. Uh, if I hadn't been seeing you, you knew and you new to the channel still, you know, drop down there. Let me know where you're from. Where y'all, where y'all live, where y'all watching me from. And uh, what y'all got? What kind of dogs y'all breeding? If you first time, you just getting them, what 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 type of dog are you into? <clears throat> it don't necessarily have to be the American bullet, maybe, you know, German Shepherds or Rottweilers or you know, Doberman, Chihuahua, pick a new, pick a knee, pick a, pick a who, pick a that, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I'm saying, just if y'all do. Um, and then for the other ones that don't be knowing, you know, I do have the uh, Shepherds too, about to get ready to let them out of here in a little bit. Zeus, what's up, man? What's up, Zeus? Huh? What's up, Zeus? You know what I'm saying? We do, like you say, we do have the shepherds. And uh, what I like to do is um, I will not let nobody out in the yard tonight. A little bit chilly out there. When it's cold like that, I really don't. But uh, I do normally let, like I will let, uh, since the female's not in heat or nothing, I will let the male and one of the females out. Can't let all three of them out at the same time because I notice they start fighting for attention. So I knew that was a no-no. That's not let one out in the yard, but it, I wouldn't put that on. I'm a little bit too cold for that. So I let them two out, and I'm going to get ready to go in the house, <clears throat> reset this heater here, so that it automatically, uh, it automatically shut off. So yeah, I feel the heat coming off of it too.
Oh no, y'all see them normally. See, that's, letting, that's setting it up right there. And y'all see where it's going all the way up to 80. But I can also set the time to, to uh, actually shut off. No, ma'am. See that long. Come on now. I'm going to let you out. Man, that heat feels so good coming out right now. And y'all be surprised that Lajita right there doing work miracles right there. Work miracles. <laughs> yep, guess that's all we have right there. Have it on. Yeah, I guess that's it for y'all for the night. Hey, let y'all see what we do in the evening time, in the morning time, spit a little knowledge to you. Um, you know what I'm saying? Show some dogs. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see him back there. Y'all see Prime. Like I say, everybody sitting over here all cozy. We about to get ready to get up out of here. About to get ready to go in the house. It's a little bit more warmer. And uh, I'll talk with y'all again later. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching.